hello guys welcome to the market channel so today i'll be walking you through on how to set the profit stop loss how to use stop limit and oco so before we continue if you have not subscribed to this channel before please kindly subscribe now and uh smash the like button for this video and also put on your notification please do so thank you very much uh let's continue so I want to set the take profit uh, and stop loss. So let's assume the coin I want to set for is a dot. That's Poco dot. So I will click on my search bar and search for dot dot. So if your own peer is with BTC, you want to sell back to BTC, you choose dot BTC. If you want to sell back to USDT, dot USDT. If it's Ethereum, go for that. But I'm going for dot USDT. So I will click it. So I'll be choosing sell since I want to set the profit or stop loss. I'm not buying. So currently, I I have some little dots here in this account, and which is 0.45. So now, uh, if you want to sell your whole dot immediately at market price, all you need to do at the current market price of 26.131. So all you need to just click on this limit and click on market. Then click on 100%. If I'm selling the whole dot I have, then I will click on sell. So immediately it will sell everything. Do you understand? I all my dot A. It will sell it immediately at the market price. So but let's say that uh what do you call it? Let's say that uh I want to paint my dot so i want to set the stop loss so the current price let's assume i just enter the dot uh trade at this current price of 26 dollar and i want to set the stop loss what i need to do don't forget to be at the sell button not buy sell what i need to do is that okay i want i want it to be that when dot reaches the price of 24 dollar stop me out of this trade i don't want to be in this trade again so this first box you see here, this top USD, I'll put $24. The second one, I'll put same amount, just repeat the same amount, $24. Then 100%. Do you understand? Hold my dot, then sell. Once I click on sell, it will pend it for me. So you see it here. So whenever the price reaches $24, the market is going to take me out of this trade. Do you understand? That's my stop loss. So that for that and also if i can cancel it so and also if i want to use this top limit to set a take profit maybe i want it that when dot reaches 30 dollar help me close this trade so i'm okay with that so i just click the price of 30 dollar repeat 30 dollar then 100 percent then sell so and if it's not represent what to say just click it there or edit the figure yourself so sell so can you see it's pending it there. so whenever the price of dot reaches 30 dollar it's going to automatically sell this dot for me even if i'm not available at the market so let's cancel down also so the last one which is a uh, oco they call that one one cancel the other click on oco you can use oco to set a take profit and a stop loss at the same time so i do the down let's assume i want dot whenever dot reaches 30 dollar that should be my take profit and whenever dot reaches 24 dollar that should be my stop loss so i'll just click on oco click on oco you see a display like this then the first price you see here the first price you just enter this first price that is your take profit so that's where I want my thirty dollar to be of profit. Why these many ones? This is your stop loss. This stop limit. So whenever dot reaches twenty four dollar, stop me out. Repeat it. Twenty four dollar, stop me out. But when it reaches thirty dollar, take profit. So if it's all my old dots, just click on a percent and click sell. Sell. So just click and you see it. You see two other a two penny order. So whenever the market reaches any of the two first, if you cancel out the other, that's what they call it 
one cancel the other OCO one cancel the other so whenever the price reaches $24 first you cancel all the $30 levels and if the price reaches $30 first you cancel out my $24 stop loss so whichever one that comes first is going to cancel out the other that's what they call OCO one cancel the other so you just set a take profit and stop loss so that's all for how to set a take profit and stop loss it's very simple and straightforward so thank you very much for watching this video please and please if you like this video just subscribe and even if you don't like this video subscribe also so <laughs> so thank you very much uh and have a wonderful day